Hi, welcome to another video for Recruiter Enablement. I'm here with Kahal Grogan from TA Guru. I think I've pronounced his name That's pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. Yeah. So, Kahal, thanks very much for joining me. And so. first off, just give us a bit of your background. Like, how, how have you got to where you've got to? Um, yeah. and, and what are you doing now? Yeah. Well, I kind of am um, a varied path to the world of talent acquisition and recruiting. So, um, a reluctant biotechnologist in university, pivoted to software engineering and product management, um, spent 20 years doing some cool things, um, internet banking through whatever. Um, and then just over 10 years ago, I had a very early midlife crisis and I said I wanted to try something new. And for whatever happened, um, I decided to set up a recruitment company um, specializing in helping companies set up engineering centers um, here in Ireland, right? And um, because yeah. I kind of thought, you know, as everybody does, that recruiting is easy. You know, it's the one job that everybody feels that they can do better than anyone else, right? Um, and I can tell you that recruiting is the hardest job I've ever done. Um, so 10 years running a recruitment company, COVID came along and um, I decided to do something different again um, and blend both my worlds together and, um, you know, blend the world of, you know, 20 years software engineering product management and 10 years of technical recruiting or, or I should say technology recruiting for technology companies and bring those two together. Um, and I uh, founded something that we call TA Guru, which is um, what we believe uh, one of the world's first recruiter knowledge sharing platforms. Um, and yeah, so um, we we launched, well, we built during COVID. Um, we have uh, offerings for in-house teams and offerings for agencies. Um, and we work with large companies like Groupon and um, uh, uh, and agencies across Ireland and the UK right now. Great. Okay, well, we'll come on to that in a little bit more detail. So you and I first met maybe a couple of months ago. We kind of bumped into each other uh, yeah. on LinkedIn, talking about some of the same things and um, spark some conversation. So I'm really looking forward to finding out what's your what's your perspective on recruitment enablement or recruiter enablement? What What is it what, and what is it not? Yeah, um, so I think when people talk about recruitment enablement, they tend to be quite broad in its definition. You know, it yeah. is the tools, processes and technologies, you know, that help recruiters be more successful and productive at what they do, right? Yeah. Um, but, you know, the more and more we talk about recruitment enablement, you know, it for me, it feels that that definition is just a little bit too broad, right? Because mm -hmm. you could argue that any technology that makes a recruiter more productive um, is part of recruitment enablement, you know, your ATS or your job yeah. board systems and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, but it's not really true, right? You know, um, all those technologies that exist today, um, you know, I, I don't think that, that that they should be considered part of recruitment enablement. For me, recruitment enablement is all about injecting the right knowledge and content into the existing processes, frameworks and technologies that a recruiter uses to help them be more productive within those processes, frameworks and technologies. So it kind of like sits alongside yeah. existing tech infrastructure and ecosystems yeah. and processes. It doesn't replace them. Yeah. Rather, it enables and empowers a recruiter to be better at what they do. And, you know, in the conversations that you've had to date, you know, on this particular topic, on this particular channel, you know, everyone that speaks about recruitment enablement, none of them talk about you know, um, you know, the existing technology stacks that are there, right? Mm -hmm. You know, they all talk okay. about the same thing. They talk about, you know, raising the bar for the recruiter, you know, uh, sharing knowledge and, um, you know, creating smarter content to influence or, yeah. um, you know, setting up a recruiter for success. You know, like none of them talk about, you know, ATSs or anything like that. It's all no. about focused on providing content and knowledge that improves the behavior and skills and capabilities of a recruiter. Yes, this is absolutely correct. Um, I know that you've had some thinking around how sales enablement works and what the parallels might be. Could you give us a bit of like what, what was the, yeah. what was the sort of evolution of your thinking from that? Well, so like. 
when we started, right, one of the reasons why we started looking at enablement for recruiters was because, um, as I said, we kind of worked with technology companies setting up in Ireland, yeah. right? And, yeah. you know, we did yeah. some work around heart, helping them hire sales enablement uh, teams and stuff like that. And when you get to understand that what sales enablement is, it'd be kind of, we kind of went, gosh, you know, you know, if sales enablement is focused on improving the performance and capability of a salesperson, you know, surely there should be something similar for recruiters. And I know Rory speaks about this as, as part of his yeah. his content as well. So, yeah. so, so that's what we looked at. We said, okay, well, you know, if you know, what content and knowledge can we provide? To help a recruiter be better at what they do right yeah. now you know a recruiter the life cycle or the process of you know recruitment everything from outreach all the way to offer all that kind of stuff right yeah. and what we decided to do was was to was to go to the very very beginning right mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and and focus on the person the individual recruiter so for us what we're focusing on is how do we make the recruiter better at what they do right now the research that we have indicates that you know a significant proportion of recruiters don't have a background in the roles that they hire for right yes. and that's yes. not setting up a recruiter for success you know that's yes. impeding them um a lot of companies have you know onboarding and training that kind of like largely focuses on helping them educate them on the fundamentals of recruiting but yeah. doesn't address the domain in which the recruiters recruit. Um, yeah. And that's what we decided. We said, we'll start there, right? We'll start at helping recruiters have better context for the roles that they hire yeah. for, right? Um, yeah. And um, so what we we're building is this recruiter knowledge sharing platform that um, you know helps recruiters understand the roles that they hire for in a little bit. Yeah more simpler terms, you know, provides them with knowledge and content that can accelerate their productivity and, and, and you know, time to source and, um, you know, layer on market insights so that they can have better conversations with candidates and hiring managers. Um, but layered on top of that as well is we give them access to uh, talent experts that they can ask questions to, to help close their knowledge gaps, right? So in a way, you know, um, you know, if somebody in, in the States asks a question, you know, because there's a gap in their knowledge, we create new content and we publish it on our platform. So yeah. that means every recruiter in the world that's subscribed to the platform gets, you know, the benefit of someone asking a question. So they're all benefiting from each other in a kind of global yeah. library type of scenario. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Very, very yeah. smart. Very smart idea that creates network effect and yeah. Um, yeah. extremely smart idea. Okay. So, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, no, that's exactly it, right? So it is that network effect, you know, someone, you know, you know, has a knowledge gap that they need closed. If it's not available in the platform, they ask for that knowledge to be created and everyone gets access to it. So, you know, ask once, make it available to everybody. Perfect. I think that in the context of in-house teams in particular, where a recruiter might be asked to, it doesn't really happen in agencies so much, but in an in-house team, the recruiter might be at, working on a procurement role and a marketing role and a software role like on the same day yeah often tech and non-tech are split mm -hmm. so that's maybe not a great example but um they, they can easily be working on 30 different recs yeah. of which you know those 30 recs are across 14 different yeah. teams yeah. it's impossible for them to develop sufficient knowledge of all of these different areas to be able to talk technical language yeah. to the candidates or even yeah. to the hiring manager yeah no so anything exactly. you can do to make that easier i guess is very very powerful yeah and one of the things that we come across in internal talent teams is is their desire to develop into adaptable talent teams or flexible talent teams right so you know the organization yes. has a priority on sales you know recruitment for the next quarter um but then they need to yeah. pivot over to technical recruiting or marketing or customer success yeah. or procurement or FP&A, whatever it is. And that's yeah. really hard for them to do, right? You know, um, but if you can give them a, a repository of knowledge on co content and access to expertise, it enables that flexibility and adaptability, which supports better resource planning. You know, you don't have to build, you know, have 30 people in sales recruiting who then sit there you know, for three months while, you know, business priorities changes, 
you can offer them support to you know go out and help in procurement recruitment go out and help in customer success because the knowledge content and support is there for them yes where do you see this going do you see this as becoming mainstream um yeah i think so i mean like one of the benefits to our industry is that it has been i guess we have a reference point sales yeah. enablement has proven to be a hugely successful productivity strategy within yeah. organizations so they yeah. don't need to be convinced that enablement is is a a good strategy to adopt yeah. right yeah. um rather what we have to show them is how it can be applied to our world right yes um so yeah no i think i mean but you can see it i mean like enablement is now popping up and you know revenue enablement and sales enablement and market like yeah. so as a corporate strategy it's been adopted and accepted so that's a good thing for us right yeah i think i think that's a pretty good indicator that we're going to see recruiter enablement becoming a more uh common uh term and practice and discipline yeah. and technologies like yours emerging to support it as well. Uh, I've been a long term student of taking the very best of sales and marketing practices and technologies and applying them into uh, recruitment. So I think that you're onto a winner with TA Guru. Kahal, thank you so much for taking the time to Not join me today. It's uh, been great to talk to you about it. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much.